More than three years ago, one of the biggest headlines in aviation Asia was the announced merger between South Korea's two biggest airlines, Asiana Airlines and Korean Air. Since then, it's been a long road of overcoming hurdles to complete the merger, which as we start the summer of 2024, it's still ongoing. However, it's getting closer to the end and the completion of the merger. And in this video, we'll have an update as we head into the summer as to what is the status and the progress for the proposed merger of South Korea's largest airlines. Previously on this channel, I have posted updates on the Korean Air Asiana merger. Though for a recap, for those who are not familiar with the situation, back in 2020, amid the financial difficulties that Asiana was facing and during the COVID-19 pandemic, Korean Air's parent company, Hanjin KAL, announced that it would be acquiring Asiana as part of a deal worth around 1.8 trillion Korean won. In the more than three years since the initial announcement of the proposed merger, Korean Air has sought the approval from 14 countries, including the South Korean government, to proceed with the merger. So far, 13 out of 14 countries have approved the merger, including its own local government, and major markets where Korean Air and Asiana serve, such as the United Kingdom, Japan, China, and the European Union. The lone country where approval is still pending is in the United States. The approvals that Korean Air has obtained for the merger has been hard fought. During the process, competition regulators in the countries that it has sought approval from have cited a strong share in the market of Korean Air and Asiana on flights between South Korea and their respective countries. Citing how the merger would impact competition on passenger flights and cargo services between their countries and South Korea, the South Korean carriers, in particular Korean Air, had to make concessions in order to obtain some approvals. In the United Kingdom, where approval was granted in March of 2023, Korean Air pledged to transfer flight slots to Virgin Atlantic for the launch of new flights between London's Heathrow Airport and Seoul Incheon. Then, with the EU, Korean Air agreed to give up flight rights on four routes to European destinations to South Korean budget carrier Tiwei. The four European destinations are Barcelona, Frankfurt, Rome, and Paris, and along with this, Asiana's cargo division would also be sold. The third market that Korean Air and Asiana have pledged to make concessions in for the approval of their merger is Japan. While granting approval for the merger in February of this year, Korean Air and Asiana have pledged to cede flight slots on seven routes, both from Seoul and Busan. From Seoul, the routes covered include flights to Osaka, Sapporo, Nagoya, and Fukuoka, while from Busan, Osaka, Sapporo, and Fukuoka. As mentioned before, the last major market that Korean Air and Asiana are seeking the approval for the merger is the United States. As of now, it's been a tough sell to U.S. competition regulators as they have stated that there is no competitor to Asiana's caliber on flights between the United States and South Korea. Between the United States and South Korea, both airlines have flights to 13 cities in the U.S. The only major competition from U.S. carriers comes with United San Francisco flights, along with Hawaiian Airlines services between Seoul and Honolulu, Hawaii. Meanwhile, the lone challenger from South Korea is Air Premier, which offers flights from Seoul to Newark, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. Along with dominating the market between the United States and South Korea, it's also pointed out it would be a major shift for the airline alliances in Asia. Delta and Korean Air are both joint venture partners. And along with that, they are Sky Team Airlines. So if the merger goes through, Star Alliance could lose its presence in South Korea with Asiana.
while work is ongoing to obtain the approval from U.S. competition regulators. Work is ongoing also to complete the sale of Asiana's cargo division, which Korean Air and Asiana are looking to complete it by year's end. It's been reported that three of the smaller South Korean carriers, Air Premia, Eastar Jet, and Air Incheon, are leading candidates to win any bidding for Asiana's cargo division. There was another fourth candidate in the discussion, Jeju Air, which dropped out. So far, the Korean Air and Asiana merger is taking a few more steps closer to completion. However, it still has to overcome the big hurdle of securing the approval from the United States authorities. More than three years since it was announced, Korean Air and Asiana have had to make some big concessions, especially on routes to major markets and its cargo operations. We could expect to see more concessions made in order to secure approval from U.S. regulators. That's all for now. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.